Hey, join my Discord. Link in the description. Squad overview as we go into the second half of the season and the squad is improving as per usual. The wingers have been immensely successful as you can see Sinistera up to an 82. Nicola Pepe started at an 81 now up to an 84. He's actually surpassed his potential of an 83. The only downside of this entire squad would probably be Iago Aspas who's downgraded to an 81. And after that match against Valencia where we destroyed them 5-1 again, our goal differential goes up to 31 this time. We have the highest goal differential differential in the league and we're fourth but so far so good as long as we stay in this little relative area of the table champions league football will be ours finally in the europa league i never got to show you the final table so here it is we completely dominated our group but for whatever reason the luck in the round of 32 draw wasn't exactly there because we faced probably one of the worst teams we could have faced Lille. And in the Youth Academy, nothing crazy besides, of course, Oscar Grande, 65 rated, 81 to 94 potential. I mean, this man, this man could really be something in the future, I'm just saying. And we go into the second half of the season where we face Alaves, who are in 12th place currently. Oh, Celeste is on the offensive in just the second minute of the match. Bryce Mendez, good ball to Nicola Pepe on the right flank, drops it to Bryce Mendez, leads it right back to Nicola Pepe, and that is a fantastic curler to kick off the second half of this La Liga season. But with the sharpness down a little bit, we struggled in this match. I won't even lie, we definitely struggled. It's Lucas Perez as he drives forward, then passes it to Rioja. Rioja then spots Lucas Perez again with the shot and it's just not a very good shot at all. Vigo now again with an attack. It's Luis Sinistera. He passes it to now Tiago Aspas. Back to Sinistera. Now a little bit of a link up again between the both of them. It's Tiago Aspas versus the keeper. It's just not the right angle and it's straight at him. As the half is almost done, it's an opportunity for Alaves. Moncayola covering Saul. Now it's past to Pere Pons. Pere Pons uses some footwork to get around Yukushlu. Finds a good ball in the center to Pina and now Pina tries to find someone in the box, find Lucas Perez outside, enters the box, it's a pretty simple save. Attacking threats again from Alaves, a good ball out to Rioja all by himself, chest down, then he tries to lob it up for Yosulu, it's headed away, not a very good clearance as it falls right to Sema, Sema with an opportunity, and he misses it wide. And Alaves just continue to pile on the attacks, one after the other, it's Pere Pons this time, but he's dispossessed, and now Celta Vigo can transition into that lovely bit of counter-attacking football ball. It's Bryce Mendez. In between the three defenders, it's just him versus the keeper, and he buries this one. 2-0 to Celta Vigo. We finally find some kind of breakthrough to get away, and our lead is now doubled. Once we start clicking, it's over for the opposition. It's Manu Sanchez for Celta Vigo. Now to Luis Sinistera. Link up again with Manu Sanchez. As Sanchez is closed down, brings it right back to Luis Sinistera. Burst of speed. Crosses in for Nico Pepe, who misses it completely horribly. But let's look at the replay of that. Didn't realize I had referees hired by the FA managing this match. Next up, we have the Copa del Rey against Almeria. Now, last time we were in the cup, we failed miserably. You wanna see me do it again? 12th place, Bilbao. Last time we faced this team, it was a two-all draw at Bilbao. And now an opportunity on the counterattack for us already in the eighth minute. We're just getting some early chances in the second half of the season. It's Nicola Pepe, runs away from his fullback, crosses it in for Bryce Mendez, and it's Bryce Mendez with a fantastic header, and he's gonna drop that one into the net 1-0 to Celta Vigo just like that but unlike last season Bilbao away from home actually had opportunities we stopped them completely and it was the opposite of that it's Philip. He's gotten away from his fullback. It's just him versus the keeper. Good save by Ruben Blanco at the end. Here comes Celta Vigo again. It's Beltran with a great ball to Nicola Pepe. Beats his fullback. The fullback just slides on his ass. He's never going to catch Nicola Pepe ever again. It's Pepe versus the keeper. And it's saved by the foot of the keeper. Unfortunate. We should have doubled the lead there. Now it's Luis Sinistera's turn on the wings. As he runs and tries to beat his defender. Doesn't work out. So he passes it back to Fran Beltran. Now to Bryce Mendez. Lobs it up. Tiago Aspas, just him versus the keeper, and again, we just can't seem to score these simple chances. Corner for Bilbao, it's whipped in, and it's Duani on the end of it, and he just floats it over the bar. We got very lucky there. Can Vigo finally put this one to bed and not worry about conceding and dropping even more points? Iago Aspas, Denis Suarez, lobs it up to Luis Sinistera. Great little sequence of attacking football, and he's gonna finish that one. It's a fantastic finish from Luis Sinistera to end this one off. 
and we get ourselves another three points. Sixth place, Levante. Ball up in the air, it's headed down by Joseph Ido, finds the feet of Dennis Suarez, and Dennis Suarez dishes it to Iago Aspas in behind the defense. It's a beautiful finish into the bottom left corner, and it's 1-0 to Celta Vigo, just like that. Attacking chance for Levante outside the box, it's Martinez leading it, but he's dispossessed by Fran Beltran, who's just gonna go forward, and Fran Beltran with a ball of dreams to Iago Aspas again in behind the defense. Iago Aspas is gonna finish that one top right corner this time, and he's got himself a brace after just 37 minutes. You love to see it. And to cap off this great performance, it's Dennis Suarez in the midfield, gets a great ball to Iago Aspas as he flips it right to him, one-on-one -on -one versus the keeper, and of course he's gonna beat him. It's 3-0 to Zelta Vigo, and Iago has not been in incredible scoring form as of late, and then just comes back with the hat trick. I mean, I, I, he's just the goat. I don't know what to say. A look at the table, and we've climbed up to third after the month of January. In the Youth Academy, there's a key addition here. Javier Duarte, Portuguese goalkeeper, 15 years old at 63 rated. You know that's real good. Not to mention, as a goalkeeper, he's 6'5". 6'5". He's perfect for the role. And now we face the team that we destroyed 5-1 away from home, Valencia. They're currently 10th. Valencia coming full steam ahead again, probably because this time they actually want to have more of a threat than last time we faced them when we beat them 5-1. Bryce Mendez flips it to Fran Beltran, and now Beltran with one of those branded Beltran balls out to Luis Sinistera. Sinistera has a shot, and it's saved by the keeper. Valencia on the attack again, this time it's Jose Gaia, passes it to Bisuma. Now Bisuma to Coindredi. Coindredi sees the run of Gaia, gets it to him, and it's a shot from Gaia, and it's a good stop by Ruben Blanco. Valencia continue to pile on the pressure. It's Carlos Soler in the midfield for them now, as he has a ton of space to work with. Sees the run of Avila, gets it to him, and Avila, in between the legs of the keeper, finds the back of the net, gets the breakthrough for Valencia, and it's 1-0, and not a great start for us so far. Into the second half, it's Valencia again as they continue to dominate, continue to just hold on to the possession, but here it's Bisuma, passes it right at his injured player, and now it's an opportunity for Celta Vigo to capitalize on that mistake. It's Iago Aspas, slides it past the keeper, and we draw level with Valencia right at the beginning of the second half. Valencia continue to get the better of us though, good pressing play as it gets them the ball right back, and now Vinicius, great ball to Bisuma, passes it right into the net, and Valencia restore their lead. But now Vigo starting to wake up and actually have more attacks, it's Manu Sanchez, into the box he goes, he's stopped by Piccini, now drops it to Luis Sinistera, blocked by the defender, then it falls to Yakushu, now Pepe, good bit of skill, has a shot, again the keeper saves it. Moments later, again it's Vigo, and it's Yakushu leading the attack for Oh, Celeste's this time. Bryce Mendez turns his defender. He's covered those. He drops it to Fran Beltran with the shots. For fuck's sake, man. And after that loss, we have the league leaders, Real Madrid. But early on into this one, we actually find an attacking chance. It's Manu Sanchez again linking up with Luis Sinistera. Luis Sinistera, the ball's a bit too soft for him as he gets it to Manu Sanchez again. Now Thiago Aspas. Aspas, just not enough room, so he passes it right back to Manu Sanchez. Good link up play, but that is the worst finish I have seen this season. The attacks just kept coming, though. For some reason, Real Madrid were just sitting back. Luis Sinistera gets a cross in. Unfortunately enough, it falls right to Casemiro. Now to Benzema, and now Benzema has plenty of players to work with here. And Hazard out to Rodrigo, and now Rodrigo with plenty of space as he just runs right past Nkulu like he's nothing near post finish, and it's 1 0 to Real Madrid. Oh, how the tables have turned so quickly. But that still didn't stop us. Again, Real Madrid just sitting back for whatever reason. Iago Aspas, great, fantastic ball over the top to Luis Sinistera, and he misses a complete sitter. I hope this one doesn't bite us back later on. Wow, I really didn't see that one coming. We return to Pepe's old home. Lille in the Europa League. And this started out pretty badly for us. We just weren't really in the right form to get into this match early on. Renato Sanchez with an opportunity. Good save by Ruben Blanco. But again, it's just Lille on the attack. It's Gomez this time. Now to Braderich, back to Gomez. Gomez then gets squeezed, but passes it right to Jonathan David. Great bit of passing play. And now Jonathan David gets past the defender and finds the net. 1-0 to Lille, and it's not looking great so far. But that might have been the wake-up call Vigo needed. We had been 
struggling quite a bit in the last three matches, including this one. Bryce Mendez, Iago Aspas, turns his defender, has a shot, it's blocked, but it falls right to Luis Sinistera. A bit of luck. I know that happened in the Yetleti match, and I called bullshit on it, but I do not care. We have equalized, and also have gotten away goal. And seemingly, that might have been the turning point as well for Celta Vigo after a bit of some bad form. Hugo Mayo, Nico Pepe, now to Bryce Mendez. Great passing play as he finds Iago Aspas, and it's a fantastic finish into that bottom right corner, and we now have turned the match around. Two away goals to our name, by the way, and now it's looking pretty good for us. Fast forward to the 80th minute now, though. It's Luis Sinistera leading an attack for Celta Vigo. Manu Sanchez drops it to Luis Sinistera. Sinistera just nowhere to go, so he passes it back to Yakushlu. Yakushlu links up with Sinistera. Sinistera again nowhere to go as he passes it back to Yakushlu, and Yakushlu just misses wide. The Celts trying to build on this aggregate, getting another goal, but it's a great bit of defensive play by the defender. And now it's Christian Pavon out to Yilmaz. Yilmaz passing it to Yaxi, who gets right past Beltran like he's nothing. Great through ball to Christian Pavon, and Pavon chokes it. Luckily for us, he shoots it right at the keeper, and we maintain a 2 1 win. 16th place, Espanol. We played the backup squad for this because we do have Lille pretty much like three days after this one. And now it's Yakushlu. Pass it to Santimina. Link up with Denis Suarez. Again to Santimina and Santimina. Simple finish. 1-0 to Celta Vigo just like that. Maybe we don't have Iago Aspas, but that's fine because Santimina still does the job. Espanol with an opportunity as the half is expiring. Lopez. Up to another Lopez. Now to Campuzano. Good first touch. A great finish. And he finds the back of the net because of that. It's now equal lies here at the Balaidos. But right off kickoff, it's now Nicola Pepe running right through the Espanol defense as if it were Southampton. And now, he passes it to Conrad De La Fuente. Conrad De La Fuente, not much space he can work with, so he drops it out to Renato Tapia, back to Nicola Pepe, who just turns his defender brilliantly and finds the back of the net. All thanks to Nicola Pepe, we've come back from conceding a pretty disappointing goal and we're back in the lead. And once we found the lead, we ran away with it at that point. Santimina, the Dennis Suarez. Suarez with a great lob up to Conrad De La Fuente. Finds some space to cross in for Santi Mina. Great delivery by him. And Santi Mina with an even better finish. 3-1 to Celta Vigo. And then just a little bit later it's Conrad De La Fuente again to Renato Tapia. Out to Santi Mina. Back to Tapia. Tapia again to Santi Mina as they link up. Finds Dennis Suarez all by himself. And Suarez with a little unique finish. Finds the back of the net for himself. 4-1 to the O Celestes. And it's a good comeback win after two consecutive losses. Now the home leg against Lille, and all we have to do is just make sure they don't score an away goal. And there it is. For f sake. Alright, let's make sure they don't score another away goal. Yukushu there to stop that attack, and now a counter-attack, a quick one in that. Can start up, it's Nicola Pepe, runs away from Fazio, as that man is just old and slow, and Nicola Pepe with a fantastic finish off the post and into the net, restores our lead, and surely enough, this is our advancement happening. Attack starting from the back for Lille, it's Sama as he tries to find someone, he's dispossessed by Bryce Mendez, who immediately crosses in for Iago Aspas, and that is such a simple finish for him. Capitalizing on that mistake, we are now 2-1 up against Lille at home. It's now 4-2 on aggregates. And much like the Espanol match, it seemed like once we found the lead again, we just ran away with it. It's Nicola Pepe again, starring in this one against his former club, saved by the keeper, but then Iago Aspas, off the rebound, volleys it into the net, gets us up 3-1, 5-2 on aggregate. Nearing the end of this match, again, this is all over, but it's just Celta Vigo continuing to put on the attacking pressure. Conrad De La Fuente, Iago Aspas, goes forward, sees Bryce Mendez just exposing the back four, and Bryce Mendez near post finish, a calm finish in that, and it's now 4-1, 6-2 on aggregate, we just made the away leg look like nothing. As we do advance to the next round, we face Wolfsburg, so th that'll be interesting. We return to La Liga, 14th place, Yatafe. Last time we faced this club, and I know we've kind of gone into the history quite a bit in this episode, but again, this is a team where we squandered a 2-0 lead again. So hopefully we can redeem ourselves and a good bit of attacking play finds Luis Sinistera off the post and into that net It's 1-0 to Celta Vigo just like that. But looky here. It's Yatafe again with an opportunity What will they do this time? I wonder it's in DI crossing in for Portillo and Portillo <laughs> 
fights the back of the nets, and we've really conceded against Yatafe again. But have no fear, because this time we've possibly learned from our mistakes. Moncayola, out to Luis Sinistera, a great ball to him, as now Luis Sinistera uses all the room he has in front of him, just him versus the keeper. He just Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head! We really like him! Yago as fast, Yago as fast, we really like him!